This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Uh, DX927 writes, was Arn ever a fan of chocolate cake like JR? Uh, if not, then what's his favorite real cake? Now, let me give you a little peek behind the curtain. On JR's show, he says that when he first went to work for Vince, uh, they had a code word, him and Bobby Bobby Heenan, not eating. Uh, Bobby would say, uh, Jim, uh, you still got some of that chocolate cake in your room? And it was code for, well, maybe something Rob Van Dam might enjoy. So DX927 wants to know, were you ever a fan of that kind of chocolate cake or was that not your deal? What a big doobie. <laughs> yeah. Or a little one, a medium sized one. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah. It's been nicknamed chocolate cake by Bobby Heenan. And we keep that tradition alive with Jr. Uh, well, you know what? I think anybody that says, you know, that grew up my age and went through the seventies and and eighties and all that. And you know, that says they didn't have a little puff experimentally. It'd be lined. Right. I would suggest having that chocolate cake be a real thing. And after you had a puff, have a big piece <laughs> of chocolate cake. Yeah. They go hand in hand. That's for sure. Bet your ass they do. What about, uh, your actual favorite type of cake? Not, not a, not a, not a gimmick, but a real cake. What's your favorite go-to? Well, I think I've mentioned this on the show before. Aaron makes a chocolate cake that I get usually just on my birthday that she actually melts the, uh, Her Nestle morsels mm. into the batter or into the, uh, not the cake, but the icing. Right. It, and it becomes real heavy and it is real moist. And is it's one of those that instead of a day or two later, it gets dry. This one gets even more moist for whatever magic she puts in it. Wow. It's all, it's awesome, buddy. Now cream brulee cheesecake from firebirds. Oh, I know and, where that is. I've been there. Buddy, have you had the cream brulee cheesecake? No, I have not. I'll tell Megan though, but Morgan loves Firebirds. So usually when I'm, if I'm there for a week, I'm eating it at least once. Yeah, it's a, it's great. It's one of our favorites, but that no matter what you do, get that next time. It is outstanding. Don't you dare miss it. Let's jump into the questions though, Aaron. We got 281 to pick from today, just on Twitter alone. There's no way we'll get to them all. But I got to tell you, you're going to get a chuckle out of the very first one. Are you ready for this? Not sure, but for, shoot. People are obsessed with your food. Brian wants to know what's your go-to sandwich. Now I'm assuming he means not a burger, not one that you can hit at a drive through, but one that Aaron's going to make for you at the house. I'm really going to disappoint, but this comes from uh, I want to say upbringing, habit, things you develop, your socioeconomic situation at the time. It's going to be bol bologna with a little mayo on white bread. And Brian bologna would be the one of choice. You really are Tony Schiavone's pal. He loves that shit. You know, I was a bologna guy. I was a, a potted meat guy. I was a canned corned beef guy. Oh, that's different now. Canned corned beef is hard to beat. Stir it up with some onions in a pan. Back to that, that fresh white bread with a little mayo, a little pepper. Good to go. You know, your selections, we didn't have like gourmet ham and turkey and all that. That wasn't in our budget when we went to the grocery store. So... Better get used to bologna. And uh, you know what? Turned out it was just fine. People, uh, I know a lot of people that fry it and like it that way. I bet you've had a fried bologna sandwich being a Southern boy. I've had one and that was one too many. I'm, I'm not a fan of bologna. It's not my jam. Don't get hot. <laughs> but the raw bologna, I mean, I just still enjoy a, a bologna sandwich. You know, um, speaking of bologna, you know, your, your pal, Tony Shirani, he's full of bologna. And once upon a time, we did a word association on the show. This was probably three or four years ago. And he said, uh, or I said, Elegante. 
And his exact response was, roll the baloney. World of baloney? Roll of baloney, like the whole loaf. Like not a slice of baloney, the whole baloney. Oh, you're talking about <laughs> the chunk baloney from... <laughs> I, I, that's your boy, Tony, uh, just, you know, connect the dots. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.